Hi, this is Bob from Turbot. If you're looking for a quick demo of Turbot Guardrails features, you're in the right spot. Let's get started. Today we're going to review how Turbot Guardrails can detect changes within your cloud provider to then automatically remediate any misconfigurations. For this session, we're going to use Amazon S3 as the example and Turbot enforcing encryption at rest guardrails as well as tagging uh, guardrails on the resource. So to get started, we're gonna go into the Amazon S3 console and we're going to create an Amazon S3 bucket. And so here we'll create a demo bucket called Acme Demo uh, Turbot 3. We'll use default configurations uh, as well as set some uh, random configurations on the public access block, which I'll use later in the demo. Uh, and so you'll see here that there's no tag set and that we're using the default SSE encryption. So we'll create the bucket. Now the buckets created this demo Turbot 3 bucket with those default configurations. And in this example, it can be assumed that it's a, a developer coming in, creating a resource, and, and whether it's through the Amazon console, the Amazon CLI, uh, Terraform CloudFormation, from a TurnPot perspective, we're detecting those changes behind the scenes. So any creates, updates, or deletes, Turbot discovers, and then assesses those changes to then enact whether a real-time alert or an action in your environment. So we can actually track those changes behind the scenes. So here in the Turbot console, if we look that bucket up, it will already be in the Turbot CMDB. So if I looked up that Acme Demo Turbot 3 bucket, that is already in the configuration management database. Here I can view the configurations of that resource. I can search them in the console, uh, full text search. I can also search your favorite BI or SQL tools. Now, you can also see the overlay of the controls and whether or not your policies, your controls are being adhered to. And so there's a number of these that are skipped that we're not reviewing today in the demo. Uh, but for the encryption at rest and the tagging controls, we can see that these controls are already green and it's because Turbot behind the scenes automatically corrected those configurations. And those controls are audit logged and tracked. So all the way at the start when Bob created the bucket, I could see that change from Bob and then I could see what Turbot did once that change was captured in the audit activity. And so here Turbot started to run the tagging control, some trusted access controls and other things within the environment that are related. And those controls that are enabled then started to alarm. And so we'll see here that the encryption at rest, the tagging control alarmed, Turbot then came in and fixed the tagging, the encryption, updated the CMDB with the changes it made, and then closed each alarm for the corrections. So back in the Amazon console, if I refresh the screen here, we'll see how quickly Turbot already took that action. It added these tags in onto the resource. It also updated the encryption to a KMS manage key. Now, these were missing configurations that were not in place in Turbot then corrected. This would be true for misconfigured configurations that are already in place. And so if I made an update here to change the tags to key value pairs that weren't part of policy, so in this example, Turbot automatically tagged that the department is the sales organization. And so if I was to change this to marketing, uh, Turbot would then go back and create it back to sales because that is true within the template. Now for the creator tag and the create timestamp, this was pulled as information from the audit trail and then tagged directly onto the resource itself. And so even if I was to remove a tag completely, so if I remove the creator tag and hit save, now I can make those changes because I'm logged in here as Bob assuming the super user role that can manage tags on an S3 resource. But even with making those changes, Turbot's going to detect and correct in real time. And so those changes will occur if I just refresh the screen. Turbot's already took action to change it back from marketing to sales, as well as add back the creator tag uh, with the value of Bob at Turbot.com. All of those changes are captured back into the audit activity log. So here we'll see that Bob, assuming that super user role in that session, had come in and updated that bucket. I could see exactly what the change was. So I could see the diff history of that change of him removing the creator key, as well as changing the value from sales to marketing. And then Turbot discovers that change, updates the CMDB, and then will instantly alarm saying, hey, this change is not approved. And then because Turbot's in enforce mode, it will also then update the tags, which then updates the CMDB, which then closes the alarm to okay. And so Turbot will then discover itself making that change. So the Turbot service role ended up adding back the creator tag, changing marketing back to sales. So all of this happened within a quick uh, eight second loop within the environment. So detection of the change, alarming of it instantly, taking action, rediscovering the change and verifying it, and then closing the alarm. 
So for organizations that have tens, or hundreds, or thousands of developers and engineers that are making changes all the time, or your pipelines are making changes, Turbot's going to always detect those create updates and deletes and then take action to make sure that you're secure and that your posture is meeting a desired state. Now, not all the time are you going to want to automatically enforce these configurations. You might want to set Turbot in a read-only mode, which you can do per any policy per resource. So you could put Turbot in a check mode just to alarm. And so in this case, here, when we detect the change, we could have kept Turbot just alarming that there was an issue. That alarm can notify your team through Slack, through Microsoft Teams, through email, or through any other endpoint uh, to notify them. And then they can take the action, which then Turbot would discover and then close the alarm once the configuration is met. You can also use Turbot to apply the correction as well. This is what we call quick actions. And so going back to the controls, I had the public access block uh, purposely set in a check mode. So right now it's just checking to see if the public access block settings have all four configurations enabled to deny public access. The configurations I set when I created the bucket, two of the four weren't set correctly. It is in an alarm state, Turbot just instantly alarmed it was an issue versus just correcting it on your behalf. And so you can have the developer fix it, or you can actually fix it through Turbot. And so in this case, if I wanted to fix all of these uh, configurations to be enabled, I can use Turbot to enable all the public access block settings. And that will fire off uh, a job through Turbot to run instantly on this particular resource. This will correct the misconfiguration, and then Turbot will then close this alarm to be in an OK state. Just give it a second here. This will refresh the screen, and we'll now see it back into an OK. And so whether you're just using Turbot to discover changes through the CMDB to see what your resources are doing across what environments and what impact to your resources, or you want to instantly alert your team members of any mistakes that are happening for the changes that they're making or their pipelines are making, or you want to instantly correct those misconfigurations to make sure you're in a secure posture, your costs optimize, you're meeting operational best practices, you can use our guardrails to automatically enforce those as well. If you feel that your organization would benefit from Turbot guardrails, we would love to talk. Please reach out to us at turbot.com guardrails. More information is in the video description below.